Hello future dolphins and welcome back. My name is Jeanette and thank you all for coming back for another episode. Now, as always, I'm here alongside my other admissions and recruitment student ambassadors to bring you some highlights for the week. As we begin to wrap up this I Can series, we have brought you so much great information about CSU Channel Islands. For this episode, I will be giving you all the websites and highlights on one page. When applying to CSUCI, use our virtual admissions webpage to get quick details about upcoming events that the admissions department is offering to ease your transition. This webpage will also provide you with various helpful links to our virtual campus tours and various information sessions. To visit this concise website, visit go.csuci.edu slash virtual admissions. Don't forget that we are always updating our admissions web pages. It will always have the most up-to-date information regarding admissions decisions and informational dates. If you have any questions, you can contact us via phone, live chat, or email us at admissions at csuci.edu. Don't forget to follow us on social media at csuci where we also post lots of information. We're always here to help you. Now I'll pass it over to Maya to talk about another major we offer at CSUCI. Thank you, Jeanette. Hello everyone, it's Maya again, and today I'll be highlighting another academic program we offer at CSU Channel Islands. Today we'll be covering performing arts. In the program, you'll receive a broad, integrated undergraduate experience in music, theater, and dance that will provide a strong base for a rewarding educational and professional career in the performing arts. You'll also gain exposure, expertise, and experience connecting various disciplines and art forms to emerge a better artist and a more confident performer. Here are some amazing things that graduates of the Performing Arts program at CCCI have gone on to do. We offer a variety of emphasis and minors within the Bachelor's of Arts in Performing Arts. Students can choose from the following. Here are five careers you could pursue with a degree in performing arts. Visit this link to learn more about the performing arts program. If you would like to search for internships, a great resource is the Dolphin Career Link located on your MyCI student portal. I hope I was able to provide you with some insight into one of the many academic programs we provide at CSU Channel Islands. Tune in next time where I'll be covering biology. Now, here's Ruby who will be giving you tips on ways to relax and focus. Hi everyone, welcome back to the housing segment of this week's video. For today, I will be going over three tips for surviving and preparing for finals. As finals are starting to come around the corner this semester, I have assembled some tips through my own personal experience and also through some of my friends and classmates' experiences as well. As a third year student, I got a taste of virtual finals last semester. However, if you are new to this new adjustment, feel free to take some notes on how to make your finals week as smooth as possible while still being virtual. Number one is to create a finals week schedule. The first thing to note about finals here at CSUCI is that finals usually occur at different times than your actual class time. For instance, if I usually attend a class at three o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the time to attend class to take the final will most likely be at 1.30, so a whole hour and 30 minutes before. However, since we are in a virtual setting this semester, be sure to check your syllabus of each of your classes as to when your final will be available online. 
After you've looked up those times and dates of your finals, be sure to write them down. Having to remember when each final is due can be stressful in itself. I recommend creating a finals week schedule so you can visually see them all and be prepared for each. And my second tip is to take a break. Since the week before finals and finals week itself are probably the most stressful for the average college student, I think it is equally important to take some time for yourself. From experience, I can testify to the never-ending hours that studying and preparing for finals can consume you in. With that, I think it is equally important to take breaks during your study session, so whether it be a walk around your neighborhood or even just a quick 15-minute yoga session. For me, I know that my body tends to cramp up when I'm studying for hours on hours, so I always like to take a quick stretch and a quick breather before I dive right back in. And for my third tip is to study early. Studying for finals plays a crucial role in your personal preparation for a final. Cramming in all the material you've learned over the semester is tough. I would recommend getting started on studying early. So whether that be the week before finals or even creating a study guide and updating it throughout the semester, this can save you a lot of time and tears. Last semester, I took my own advice and I feel like this helped me a lot. By constructing my study material a week before, I gradually conditioned my brain so that by the time my usual study day came, it was easier for me to grasp onto the class concepts. Thank you so much for watching my segment and I wish you all the very best on your finals as well. See you later. Hello, and today we are going over some of the virtual events our campus has to offer. As a student here at CSUCI, there are a lot of events, even virtually, that help students keep connected, busy, and engage. Kobe, kick us off. First up is the Rec Center. Now, although they are closed currently, that doesn't mean students can't still participate. Through IM Links, you can register for things like virtual marathons, free throw tournaments, and even esports. On top of that, you can still get personal trainers by making an appointment from the Rec Center staff. Another great way to stay involved is through CI Student Programming Board. The SPB will do events that consist of game nights, trivia nights, and even block parties. The best part of these events, they are all virtual. If you ever feel like you need something to do on a Friday night, the Student Programming Board will definitely make it worth your while. Now, although we have a reduced amount of students in housing at the moment, it hasn't stopped the housing department from planning and doing their own events as well. They are currently providing virtual survival skills sessions. This is a great way for students to get ready for next semester. All of these events and many more can be found at our new student affairs website, theiceland.csuci.edu. Hopefully Kobe and I were able to show you great ways to get involved. Thank you and see you next time. Hey guys, it's Xavier here with another segment on the clubs offered here at CSUCI. Last week, I talked about some of the special interest clubs offered on campus, and today, I'm gonna highlight a few more of these clubs. There are several special interest clubs at CSUCI opening up opportunities for everyone to find something that interests them. One of the clubs that might interest some Pokemon fans is the Pokemon Club. This is the go-to club for all things Pokemon. The club participates in tournaments and other Pokemon related events. Even Pokemon Go fans can participate in this club and get together with friends and other students to battle at the number of Pokemon gyms on campus. If you are interested in joining, check out the Pokemon Club's Facebook page for more information on meetings and events. The next club on our list is the CI Bicycle Kitchen. The Bicycle Kitchen has three primary focuses, provide low cost bicycle repair and maintenance education to the CI community, 
function as a social hub for the local cycling community and to compete in the Western Collegiate Cycling Conference to the best of our ability. They also work towards building a green campus for education, transit, and recycling. If you're interested in anything to do with bikes or cycling, you can check out their Instagram page for more information. The last club on our list for special interest clubs today is CSUCI Esports. The purpose of this organization is to promote a friendly gaming community, assist in computer literacy, provide a social outlet through video games, and to host tournaments and charity events to encourage camaraderie among CSUCI students. For those with a love of video games, you should definitely check out their Discord chats for upcoming events. Those are three more of our many different special interest clubs offered here at CSUCI. If you would like to check out more of the clubs, log on to CI Sync and narrow down the search to special interest clubs, and there you can explore the clubs on campus. Thanks for your time this week, and I'm now gonna hand it over to May and Scarlett to talk about virtual game nights. Hi everyone, welcome back today, Scarlett. I will be showing you all how to have a fun game night with friends virtually. You can play some fun games over Zoom or any other video calling platform. Lots of games are really easy to play without ever interacting in person, so we've picked out four games for you to try yourself. So the first one in our lineup is Spyfall. You can find several versions or host websites anywhere online. The premise of the game is everyone but the spy is given a certain location, and yes, it is the same location for everyone. You must all try and figure out who the spy is by asking fake questions about where you are so as not to give away the location, but also confirm that the other player knows where you are. The spy's job is to blend in and figure out where the location is based on everyone's questions and answers. The second game you can play is a virtual escape room. You can find a lot of different rooms to try online, ranging from flash point and click games to downloadable ones off video game platforms to guided tours of real life escape rooms. Pick your budget, which could mean free, and start searching. All you need after that is a shared video chat, your chosen room, and some teamwork to get out. This last game you can do online goes by a lot of different names, like Heads Up, 20 Questions, or What Am I? It's a guessing game, so pick a theme and have everyone assign another person their item, and tell other participants without the guesser knowing. This can be done by having the guesser turn off the volume on their computer. To make it harder, my friends and I will pick really specific themes and make it so the clues can only be given in the form of answers to yes or no questions. Once, I stumped my friend for half an hour on the theme of French desserts with ganache. Hopefully we've given you guys a few ideas for staying busy and keeping up with friends. It doesn't take a lot of work to have a lot of fun. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope to see you all next time. Now, back to you, Jeanette. Bye. Thank you everyone for all the great highlights. Now, let's close out this episode with some final reminders from Lindsay. Hey Perspective Dolphins, it's Lindsay here back with more upcoming dates and deadlines. The deadline to submit your application for fall 2021 is drawing near. December 4th is the last day for you to submit your application accessible on the Cal State Apply website. Please do not wait until the last minute. If you need assistance with the application or have any questions regarding the process, our counselors are here to help. Be sure to visit go.csuci.edu slash virtual admissions to join in on one of our application information sessions or for a quick one-on-one -on -one meeting. If you would like to get a closer look at our beautiful campus, please join us on the CSUCI Instagram for a live mini tour of several campus stops on Friday, November 20th at 3 p.m. If you missed our first live tour or can't make it to the next one, they are available on the IGTV section of the CSUCI Instagram page for you to watch at any time. If you're interested in applying to CSUCI and can't attend one of our virtual tours that we hold during the week, sign up for our virtual campus preview days. We have three campus preview days planned for the spring semester, so be sure to register soon. Visit go.csuci.edu slash cpd for more information. If you would like to check out some of our current student events, be sure to check out the Division of Student Affairs website, The Island, at theisland.csuci.edu.